Jerry is in the back line. Jerry gets the fuck out of Dodge. Beast gets frozen. Jerry's like, oh, ho, 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 look what your boy has found. If it isn't Mr. Beast Halo. Adam Denton, how nice of you to join. This is actually a really cool ice wall. We're actually blocking off Kareem. See, I'll check this out. Kareem Hill comes through. Boom. Ice block. No chance for Beast. Really cool. Good job. Halo enters with Ray. The one versus four boop. What could possibly go wrong here? Halo gets the fuck out of dodge. Gets hacked. It's okay. He made it over the side. Will he get hunted down? I'm not sure how much health he has right now. He has five health. Who's coming to get him? <laughs> Here comes the translocator. I'm coming in, boys. <laughs> the melee. The assassination. Absolutely deadly. <laughs> he thought he got away, but no. It was me. The melee sombra. They never see it coming. Another final blow for His Majesty Sure for the third. Uh. <laughs> what was that? Oh no! What the fuck happens here? So Bruce begins to boost, but I think he has his mech destroyed as he starts it. So he just acts. Well, at least it doesn't go down the hole. <gasps> Does the mech block the nade? The mech blocks the nade! It was tactical, boys! It was tactical! Unlucky Kareem, if only you weren't fucking bad, you would have hit these guys. But no, you were outsmarted by the Dutch master of mayhem, Brucen. And now we sound barrier. With the, with the rest of the enemy team moving away, we sound barrier. It's okay. We've got their diva caught in here now. Given that... Uh, oh, this is bad. It's okay, we've got sound barrier. Surely we will ignore... Wait, Nevix boops from away from the pulse bomb. Okay. Good teamwork, guys. Good teamwork. Together, we ensure the safety of the other team. Oh, here comes the translocator. Beast looking to uh, escape down into the pits where the suffering will end. Oh, perfectly executed. Sure for? How much HP do you have, bud? At 20 HP. Let's see how he does. <laughs> Not great. Not great. <laughs> he doesn't EMP. I'll give him that. But still. <laughs> Not using EMP right here. That's a win. That is a, that is a win. Don't worry, Lane. That's a win. <laughs> it's a feed, but it's a win. It's a feed win. Feed win. Okay. Looks like a fairly a fairly clean team fight win. Stop the clock. What's the time? Three minutes and thirteen seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Minus our fifteen minute uh, fifteen second prep time. That leaves us with about two minutes and fifty eight seconds before the first point was capped. Just a, a round of applause, really. Great defense from both of these teams. Excellent defense. What the fuck is going on over here? As you can see, ladies and gentlemen. It actually took so long for that point to unlock that Diva's hair has grown to Rapunzel-style lengths. Uh, they halt Beast about two feet. Actually, grand usage of the halt right here. This, this is about as effective as halt gets. Look at this. Perfection. Turn the corner. There's the halt. Catches Beast. Takes him two feet to the left. Perfect execution. I've never seen anything like it in Overwatch. Unparalleled. Shawfort sure enters into the three versus one. Kellex engages the sound barrier. I assume to try and save Beast. Where is Kellex right now? Here he is. <laughs> He's on the wrong side of a wall, though, boys. <laughs> He's on the wrong side of a wall! And it doesn't get Beast! No! No! He's on the wrong side of a wall! You had one job! Singular job! Oh no! Pepe hands. The molten core. Check this out. <laughs> they cut off the ceiling. Of course. You can't allow the Toronto Defiant to control this area. You gotta hit it with the spooch. You gotta hit it. If you don't hit it, what are you even doing? Are you even playing Overwatch at that point? 
attempt of a third. Oh, the bounce off the back. That's good cover. Person? Oh, no. Let's have a look. Ah, ah. See, this is the problem. This is a problem right here. You see Kellex up on the top. Just gliding around on top of this wall. Brucin gets a little bit low. Uses kinetic grasp and goes forward. Ah, there's the halt as well. The halt. And the... Oh, that is actually perfectly executed from Beast and Kellex. Good job. Brucin. I'm afraid you can't eat that one with kinetic grasp. <gasps> the toes aren't grippy enough. This is why you need to wear shoes, my man. You need some grip. You think these little piggies are going to grip onto the edge of a well? You fool. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that is a G9 from Yumbong. We're about to enter with a sound barrier as well. Ouch. I mean... Possibly could have won this because Nevix didn't have mech and they did have sound barrier. And they could have got Myumbong potentially to the coalescence. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one an official C9. <laughs> Halo begins to channel the sound barrier. Sound barrier is used. Do we counter barrier with both of our DPS dead? <laughs> Kellex uses the sound barrier. I don't know about that one, cuz. I do not know about that one. They use a blizzard as well! What? You guys have won this, but the DPS are dead! And it's in this tiny ass little fucking corridor where it's gonna have sight lines blocked for fucking days. What am I looking at right now? Like, you guys won this! Like, because you used the blizzard, it doesn't really matter that Kellogg used the sound barrier. Huh. You've given away the advantage you had. Oh, no. One person was in the blizzard as well. Because I can't fucking freeze Kellogg, uh, Nevix. So, GR. Solid, solid blizzard. Okay, he's got the healing orb. Fusions. Enters for fray. Time for the slam. Oh! <laughs> what a useful halt. Check this out, guys. Great halt right here. So Fusions rolls on in, you see. Fusions rolls in. The Hulk comes out. He's going to slam. It wasn't really going to hit that much. Like, it would have just got the Fortified Beast. It would have done a little bit of damage to Kareev. But look at this. Helpful as ever, Adam Denton, Beast of the Halo, drags Fusions over here like, you know what? It looks like you're about to miss that pile driver. Don't worry, brother. I got you. Enemy AC on Dirty above! And then it's a four-man. Thank you, Beast. Very cool. Ah, as they exit the bathroom. You didn't wash your hands. You're going to spread the virus. You must be instantly neutralized. An instantly neutralized Kareev is. Brucin? Oh, no -y. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> What the fuck? What did I just witness? Okay. He was trying to defend Color Hex during the barrage. And and he doesn't get hacked. He doesn't get booped. He just forgets to turn back. Oh. <laughs> the angry melee. Fuck this wall. <laughs> Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Overwatch League. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is that is a heavy unlucky. Well, or maybe a really skilled shot. We could say that Color Hanks is the most intelligent person in the universe. Look at this. Surefour is in stealth. Color Hex fires at logics. Misses logics. Surefour in stealth. Doesn't think there's any danger nearby. Little does he know. Been here all along. <laughs> Instantly forces the recall. Who said the Farah wasn't going to get any value? Just de-stealthed Sombra. The spy check from across the map with a Farah. The largest of brains. Wait, Halo? Huh? Okay. One second. What the fuck? Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> the calls are fantastic. Look at this, guys. E everyone rotates around this way. Both of the tanks, the Lucio, the Torbjorn. Sure 4 is engaging them. Logix also engaging them. Meanwhile, Beast and Kellex. Surely they'll come out of this doorway any second now. <laughs> All we need to do is wait. <laughs> oh, the sleep. Oh, the sleep. It's so good. Just headshot him. Jerry, headshot him. <sighs> the ultimate betrayal. I trusted you, turret. I thought you were here to defend me. The quick wakey wakey. Nice try, Myumbong. But it was me, Color Hex's turret, the entire time. Not only have I locked down this small area with a mega health pack, no one can come in this door or come in this door or get slept on these barrels without my involvement. <laughs> Day seven, they have not noticed that I am not a palm tree. My mission continues. He will join Bruce and down where they belong. Wait. What? Is he gonna... <laughs> what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That ain't right. How do they trade in this scenario? They trade environmental kill for environmental kill. Beast goes for the leap. Ah. Halo comes out of nowhere. The hero, the man of the hour, boop. It would be a shame if you were to just about fall off that cliff, huh? You have a look at these cooldowns, boys. Ah, oh, he was so close. He was so close. He was so close. Oh, literally to the millisecond. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. And now my screen is broken. Excellent stuff. Is that just gonna stay there now? Okay, Bruce and Eustace kind of grasp to eat the damage orb. They stick the turret. The, tu <gasps> the turret puts the bomb inside the wall by aiming at Nevix. Unparalleled intelligence. Unparalleled intelligence may actually save Color Hex from that bomb because if it was turned the other way, Color Hex may have been in kill range. The turret was the hero that we always needed, the best player on the Boston Uprising. And now, the climactic battle between Supercharger and Payload. We have the advantage. We have aggression and momentum on our side. We have four ultimates. And we are going to complete point two. Beast. Leads the charge on the centaur, pops a fortify, puts down the supercharger. Little does he know, he has placed it in the path of a freight train. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call being fucking stupid. Watch in real time as Beast Supercharger not only gets zero value, but gets negative value. And here we go. The side, the side show special, we've come to call this. Placing a buildable in the path of the turret. Uh, uh, and, and just a just a last moment. An ode to a life short-lived. A, a shorter lifespan than a mayfly. And it's gone. See you later. Great job, Beast. 10 out of 10.